St. Paul made three great missionary journeys through the Mediterranean area. He traveled in Asia, Turkey today. He traveled into Europe, Greece. And mostly, he was not well received. He explains that often people rejected him. He was beaten, he was stoned, he was put in prison, but he kept continu continuously reaching out, going to new places to proclaim the message of Christ crucified, Christ risen. We hear of his visit to Athens. He goes to the center of the city where the philosophers would meet to discuss and make judgments on civil cases. And Paul is given the opportunity to present the message. Jesus, who loved us so much, he gave his life on the cross. And then he rose again. The reaction there is not hostile, but one of indifference. It's the members there told him, go away, we don't want to hear this. Uh, maybe come back some other day. So Paul was mostly ignored there in Athens. There were a few who began to follow him, but mostly it was, we're not interested. Paul would finish three missionary journeys and return back to Jerusalem. But even there, he was not going to be well received. In fact, 50 men made a pledge that they would try to assassinate Paul on his return to Jerusalem. And when Paul did arrive, there was a riot in the streets. Because Paul was a Roman citizen, he was taken into safety by Roman soldiers. But then, in front of a judge, he was charged with inciting the riot. And as a Roman citizen, Paul wanted his case to be taken to Rome to the emperor himself. And this would take another three years traveling to Rome, being in house arrest at Rome. But even in Rome, there in house arrest, Paul would write to the places where he had preached, where he had begun the Christian communities. And we read these letters Sunday by Sunday. So Paul is an example of perseverance. He didn't give up the first time he was stoned. He didn't give up the first time he was beaten. He didn't give up when he was put in prison. He continued on. And how could it be? It's because he was empowered by the Holy Spirit. We hear of the Holy Spirit in our reading today. Jesus promised to send the Holy Spirit at the Last Supper. And as we celebrate the ascension of the Lord tomorrow, Jesus will instruct the apostles to pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit, to give them the gifts they need to continue to build the kingdom of God. Yes, Jesus would be with them for 40 days after his resurrection. He reassured them that he himself is the identical person who died on the cross and rose again. The apostles were still cautious, even doubtful. They were afraid to announce the message but Jesus will tell them, go, to, go back to the upper room, pray for the Holy Spirit, and for nine days they would. So 10 days from now, we celebrate Pentecost, the beautiful gift of the Holy Spirit to the apostles and to us. So the days between the ascension of the Lord and Pentecost are days of prayer to the Holy Spirit, the original novena. So let us take Paul for our model. He can inspire us to perseverance, to continue to live, to speak 
according to how we can do best to build the kingdom of God, how we can do our part to evangelize, how we can invite others to come to know Jesus, to love Jesus, and to live Jesus. Thank you.